What is IBS? Irritable bowel syndrome is one of the very common functional diseases of the bowel. When we say functional, means there is no organic or structural basis for the symptoms, for example, like tumor, infection, or inflammation. Ostensibly, the gut looks completely normal. That's why when patients present with symptoms of IBS, they should undergo some forms of investigation to exclude any organic causes before just simply treating the symptoms. This may involve a scan or a more accurate investigation such as a colonoscopy. The symptoms, however, can be just as severe as any of the organic illnesses. They tend to manifest themselves in abdominal pain. That's an absolute certainty to have a diagnosis of IBS. Bloating windy symptoms, a changeable or erratic bowel habit. This can change from one to the other, constipation to diarrhea, or it can be predominantly constipation or predominantly diarrhea. Sometimes people report passage of mucus in their stool and also a rather unpleasant incomplete feeling of evacuation. When people suffer with pain, we tend to find in IBS when they do pass wind or open their bowels, they get at least some temporary relief from their symptoms. Cause of IBS includes malfunction in either muscle contraction in the intestine and or malfunction of gut's nervous system. For example, this is the time the nerve impulses are too intense and your bowel overreacts to a small amount of stool and gas inside. Another reason which recently got looked into is the change in the bacterial microflora of the gut. There are certain triggers for irritable bowel syndrome. Food. Many people have worse IBS symptoms when they eat or drink certain food and beverages. This includes wheat, dairy products, citrus fruits, beans, cabbage, milk, carbonated drinks, or alcohol. Stress. Stress by itself does not cause symptoms of IBS, but it intensifies them and makes them more frequent. Hormones. Women usually are twice as likely to experience irritable bowel syndrome. This indicates the effect of hormones in triggering symptoms. Many women find more intensified symptoms of IBS around or during their menstrual cycle. It usually believed that irritable bowel syndrome is poorly managed. There are always few things that clinician and patient can do together to improve symptoms. The management should start by looking into patient's diet, behavior, and how they live their lives, or what we call lifestyle treatment. Mild signs and symptoms can be controlled by managing stress and making changes in diet and lifestyle. Usually we advise our patients to avoid foods that triggers their symptoms. Eat more high fiber food, drink plenty of fluid, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep. If all this fails, there are also medications that can help in treating IBS symptoms. But do remember, if you are experiencing any sign or symptoms which is unusual to you, don't just simply dismiss it as IBS. Go see a doctor who will advise you on the further management and treatment.